all across the country, photographers capture visions of the past. They don't make things like this anymore, you know? Illuminating the hidden beauty of buildings that once defined their community, but are now abandoned. They are the lost treasures of the city, and I set out to find them. Welcome to Gary. Eric Holabo spends his weekends in cities like Gary, Indiana. This was once a prosperous steel town, but then jobs disappeared, leaving Gary a shell of its former self. What are we looking at here? Uh, this is City Methodist Church. Or it was. Whoa. <laughs> wow. This church has stood silent for more than 30 years. And these are places where people came to pray and to be together. And now it's just, it's, it's a ruin. For me, it's um, a way to kind of capture this beauty that I think is somewhat hidden from common you know, view. How things crack and, and water has its way with buildings, it's, it kind of creates a new vision that I think is in many ways just gorgeous. Eric and other photographers post their images online, creating a growing mosaic of America's past. In the 1950s and 60s, photographer Richard Nichol documented Chicago's rapidly disappearing history. So what was Richard Nichols' impact? He led efforts to save important buildings, and he made it well known that these were uh, worth saving, worth fighting for. He was taking pictures as they, the wreckers had cut a hole through the building, dropping debris from the upper stories. In 1972, Nichols photographed the old Chicago Stock Exchange. He was killed in an accident within the building and found 28 days later. Photographers take a real risk when entering abandoned properties. You don't really know how safe these places are. Yeah. They're closed down for, you know, in many cases, for a good reason. Ooh. Hole in the floor. This is where people worked. You know, this is where they came and they spent most of their days. This factory in Gary employed hundreds during World War II. Just kind of imagining the hustle and bustle, the buzzing of these machines, and then now how you know, they're not. They're, they've cooled and, and people have left, you know, permanently. And just to go back and imagine that time, it's pretty neat. A photograph can do more than hint at the past. Decades of renovations took their toll on this famous Chicago department store. Images taken by Nickel and others provided a roadmap to restoration. How critical are these photographs uh, to the preservation of these buildings? They're, they're incredibly, incredibly important. And this was restored because of the availability of those old photos and wanting to restore a first-class landmark to its original vision. Those visions can be seen in the Maryland countryside, by the Salton Sea in California, and in Gary, Indiana. When you see a building that's closed down, people would just love to just put it out of mind. And I, I kind of want to force people to look at it and to see that there's something there. In Gary, Indiana, I'm Jim Brasher for Weekend Edition.